What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking to Air Jordan 1 Low Mocha. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started my own life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. All right, man, I'm back with another video now. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive in today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, we're talking Air Jordan 1 Low, Mocha. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release September 21st to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $140, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price and right now look like they're averaging $150 and up depending on the size, right? Okay, now if you're like me, when I first looked at the shoe, I'm like, man, have we, I may be tripping this week, right? But I'm like, have we not seen this colorway already? And it's like, we have, but it was the high version, right? Okay, which to be honest, the high version was called the Air Jordan 1 Dark Mocha, right? Okay, and a drop during a time, I wanna say where honestly, anything was just going crazy. This was the highs I'm referring to right now before we get back to the lows. They did exceptionally well on the resale market where it's like, that was that money maker shoe. I never understood it. But also you gotta think of the time when it dropped where resale was like everybody was, that was their new hustle, right? Okay, so fast forward, Nike's giving us a low version, right? Okay, I'm gonna say this, I'm not mad at it, but at the same time, I'm assuming, right? If they're 140 for retail, they're averaging 150 on the resale. We get the drop. Now they're gonna sit right at retail. Now also, right, as school has just started back up, this could be a great shoe for the kiddos if we're gonna keep it a hundred, right? Okay, I'm gonna just leave it at that. Now also, gotta state the obvious about this shoe that most of us is gonna probably call this because that's what we kind of call the dark mochas, the highs I'm referring to. Hate the compare to, but kind of can't help it. Sorry, Jordan Brand, and sorry for the people that's watching this video, but. Poor man Travis Scott sneaker version. Yeah, maybe, right, okay. Now I know what you're saying. Well, the highs, okay, you can see it. The lows, maybe not so much because I know we do have a brown, like, low Travis Scott, but it doesn't look like this. But to be fair, if you look at the high Mocha Travis Scotts and the low Mocha Travis Scotts, and I'm talking the original joints, they don't necessarily look exactly the same either, right? Okay, so I feel like I can get an escape goat or pretty much like, okay, y'all gotta see where I'm coming from, where I could even still consider this maybe that could be, a, you know, some people think like this. Let me reword it, right? And, and not everybody, but let's face it, trying to get a Travis Scott sneaker for retail is extremely tough, right? And some people look at it like, this is close enough for me. Now I know what you're saying, this one is not an official, like, you know saying, I don't think there's a Travis Scott low that looks like this, but for some people it still could be brown. Cause to be honest, when you think of Travis Scott, one of the colors you do think about is brown. In fact, we've had this discussion in the Discord, shameless plug, that some people's favorite color is brown, which I didn't even know, Like, but I'm not surprised because we're all different individuals. My favorite color and your favorite color may not be the same, you know? And it just is what it is. I'm not saying taking shots at the people who do like the color brown is your favorite color, by all means, that's what you do. That's what makes us different and what makes the world unique if you ask the kid. But overall, Dope shoe, um, I will say to be honest, they probably should have dropped it a little bit sooner, right? Okay, just to get the kiddos more options if you ask the kid. Um, will this shoe probably sell out? Maybe slightly over time, right? And I'm gonna just leave it at that. But overall, I'm gonna say I don't hate the shoe, but I don't love the shoe. So for the kid though, personally, as y'all probably figured out, these will be a skip for the kid. Not a bad shoe, it's just that, you know, 
and no flex or anything like that. I have brown shoes already. I'm gonna just say it nicely. I don't know how I would even incorporate this into the rotation when I already got an option like that. But then again, that's just like me saying like, I have a black and red version of the 12 and I have the bread fours, I have the bread um, ones, but I still bought them anyway. So at the end of the day, I can contradict myself sometimes. I don't know why we do it as collectors or sneakerheads. It just happens. But overall for the kid, these will be a skip. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. We'll be going after these on September 21st, retailing at $140. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you know, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.